Hello and welcome. My name is Andrea Pinzani. I am a member of GAR cybersecurity team. And this is a short video about software updates. It's normal for software and even hardware to have flaws. The more complex a software is, the more likely it is to contain bugs. During software development, functional errors are searched extensively through verification tests. Instead, security bugs are less obvious and are investigated with less care. A software vulnerability is a security or, or weakness that affects an operating system or a computer program. Cyber criminals take advantage of this weakness by writing code to exploit the vulnerability. The OSTI code is packaged into malware, short for malicious software, and spreads via emails, web links and network services. Software update and patch installation are one of the steps to improve system security. Cyber criminals and self-replicating malware are always at work. Maybe you think you are not an interesting target for cyber criminals, but it's still likely that your system is subject to, to automatic assault attempts. A virus can infect your computer even without any action on your part, other than viewing a rogue website, opening a compromised message or playing infected multimedia content. You could pass on malware to friends and colleagues if your computer is infected. Updates are necessary because they reduce the chance that your device will be ejected by cyber criminals. Unfortunately, patches and updates are probably one of the most annoying aspects of technology for users. It's easy to skip software updates because they may not seem that important, but it is a mistake. That keeps your door open to cyber criminals and malware. Therefore, if the computer notifies you of the availability of new critical software updates, don't know, ignore them. A thought cyber criminals can exploit undetected vulnerabilities. Many of the most damaging malware attacks we have seen have exploited already resolved vulnerabilities. This is caused by the delay between the release of the patch and the patch installation. Many modern operating systems and application software have an automatic update option available, so you don't have to think about it. But some softwares and devices don't update automatically. They require you to manually approve and install updates. Make it a habit to regularly check for and apply available updates. Even when installing a new computer, as a first step, check to see if any software updates are available. When purchasing new connected devices, consider the brand's consistency in providing regular support updates. In addition to fixing security flows, software updates may also include new or enhanced features. Select automatic software update also on your smart devices, like phones and tablets. In addition to classic computers, other types of devices may be vulnerable to attack. Smartphones, tablets, routers, firewalls. These special computers require the same attention as classic computers. Hardware manufacturers release firmware updates to resolve security bugs. Obsolete software, such as Windows XP, exposes you to a high risk because the manufacturer no longer provides support or updates. Install as few programs as possible. Each program you install will increase the possibility of infection. Beware of internet browser plugins. If it is not necessary, do not install Adobe Flash Player and deactivate a Java plugin. Evaluate the installation of plugins to block JavaScript code execution and navigation on dangerous sites. Software vendors release updates regularly and many of them relate to important security issues. Appoint someone or yourself to keep informed about software updates and to check those vendors' websites regularly or subscribe to security advisory mailing lists or feeds. That person should also keep an eye on the newly emerging threats such as new ransomware bugs 
and other computer viruses. Evaluate to use a patch management software to keep systems under control centrally or use a vulnerability scanning tool to evaluate system exposure to network attacks.